What's up guys, this is your boy Chris and in this video I'm going to be listing my top 4 things on the Gear 2 Neo. This is this little bad boy right here. Starting with the number 4 is this little dot. What this does is allow you to control your TV that being turned off, on, volume and also control your cable provider box meaning your dish or whatever you're using, cable vision, optimum, does not matter and be able to change your channels. Now I thought this is just going to be similar to the camera, not necessary, but somebody with a young child that a lot of time hides my controller everywhere on my remote, uh, it's very convenient to have this on my wrist and being able to change my channels without having to look through my whole apartment to see where he hit it. So it's a nice little convenient thing for myself and it does perform very simple to set up and that's why it's number four. Now at number three. It is being able to have a watch that is dust and water resistant with an IP67. What that means is dust does not affect this watch and of course it's okay to have this with water for a period amount of time. So again splashes and sweat is not going to damage your watch anymore. Now at number two of course is the design changes and there's a few amount. First is the charging port. This is how you're going to charge your actual watch. It is much, much smaller than the previous model. On top of that, the actual size and weight of the watch is, has changed greatly. Um, the wrist strap is much lighter and you know not as thick because there's nothing attached to it. The home button or wake button is right there located in the middle. Speaker is right on the top left side. Of course, the wrist strap itself, you can change it, get different colors, hopefully different sizes very soon as well. Of course, on the regular Gear 2, the camera is located right next to that little dot. So again, very convenient. And overall dot design and weight and everything has improved greatly from the previous model. That's why at number 2 is the new design changes. Of course, at number 1, my favorite feature, of course, is the MP3 feature. It's a very simple um, you know, drag process to your computer and what I like about it is you can pick your artist, album or you could put an automatic shuffle to all your songs so you're not stuck just listening to random songs. It has a 4 gig internal storage so you can put over 700 songs into this watch. Of course it does connect through Bluetooth and the connection is strong depending on your Bluetooth headphones. I use the Motorola Buds and I use this for about two hours in the gym with no hiccups or disconnection for my music. And again, it's very convenient having this little watch on your wrist and being able to listen to your music without no phone in your pocket or on your wrist. Or not your wrist, but your arm. And it does kill out your battery a little faster. So again, you're not going to get three days of battery life for four days by using the MP3 feature. But again, you can use the MP3 feature have the watch for the rest of the day and then just charge it overnight and that's why at number one is the mp3 feature on the gear 2 neo so there you go guys this has been the video again if you like the video like the video subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one peace